Ever wanted to impress your family and friends with a slideshow that screams I spent hours on this, but not really? Well stick around, cause today I'm showing y'all how to make a Christmas wishes slideshow and cap cut that'll have Santa wondering why he ain't hired you yet. And trust me, it's so easy, you'll wonder why you ain't done this sooner. Oh, and if you want to skip the hard work, not that there's really much to it, I've dropped the link to the CapCut template in the description. You're welcome. Alright, so first up, I added this photo of Santa Claus as the background. I scaled it up and parked him in the left corner right here, cause that's where the photo is gonna slide out from. Y'all see that? Pretty clean, right? Next, I slapped on this Christmas themed background layer that makes the photo pop. The colors are totally customizable and I'll show y'all how to tweak that in just a sec. Then, I threw in some white glares. Now they started out with a black background, but here's the heck. Switch the splice to filter and boom, the black's gone, leaving just those crisp, shiny glares. Oh, and pro tip, this layer should sit behind the blue background. Don't worry, a quick trip to the layers menu fixes that. And look at that, it already looks like a fancy reflection. Now let's talk decorations. I added some Christmas trees, presents, and a snowman. And cause I ain't got time to mess with 10 layers, I merged them all into one. So yeah, it's basically one click to add everything. For the text, I went with a cute little animation preset. The font, it's called Mountains of Christmas. Fancy, right? Link to download this font is in the description as well. The animation preset I used called Throwout, set the animation duration to 1 second, and you're golden. Check this out, clean, simple and festive. And last, but not least, snowflakes. They come with a black background, but just like the glares, I switched the splice to dodge, and voila, just snowflakes, no black mess. Look at that, it's like a winter wonderland in here. Now, how to customize the colors. It's easy. Just go to the filters menu, under the style tabs, and pick from the presets available. Here's a blue, red, green, anything. And if you want to get fancy, head to Adjustments tab and play around with the temperature, hue, or the HSL settings. And that's it for this tutorial. But don't get too comfy, cause next time, I'm gonna show y'all how to add that snowfall transition and other overlays for the remaining scenes. So, hit that subscribe button and don't miss out. Alright, thanks for watching. Catch y'all in the next one.